In this tutorial, we will have a look on how to use the identity brokering in Keycloak and how we can use it to authenticate users for a React single page application using a SAML identity provider. So identity brokering is a function of Keycloak that can act as a proxy between protocols and identity providers. You can, for example, use it as a SAML IDP proxy where your application or SP talks to Keycloak, which in turn sends the user to one of several defined identity providers for authentication. Another use that we will look on today is that you can call Keycloak using one protocol. In this case, it will be OpenID Connect. And uh, then the authentication will be performed using a SAML IDP. This can be useful in cases where you have a single page application, which is not suitable for SAML integration, and you need to perform authentication on a SAML identity provider. For example, if you have an organizational identity provider that you have to use. This is just one of many subjects that can be hard to grasp in SAML. In my book, Designing Secure Identity Federation, I help you to understand SAML. We also look into details as well as broader subjects like architectural choices and best practices. A link to the book is found below. For this case, I have created a simple React single page application authenticating users on ADFS using Keycloak as a broker. When a user first signs in to the React application, the application sends the user with a Open ID Connect request to Keycloak. Keycloak then sends the user to ADFS with a SAML request that it builds based on the Open ID Connect request. Once ADFS has authenticated the user, it sends it back to Keycloak with a SAML response. Keycloak then takes this response and builds a Open ID Connect response from it and sends it back to the React application. The React application then looks at the Open ID Connect response and creates a user session based on it. So let's have a look on a demo. I have set up my environment with the React application, the Keycloak server, and ADFS using virtual machines orchestrated by Vagrant. We will use my SAML extension uh, for Google Chrome to view the traffic. So we begin by browsing to the React application. And uh, when we click login, it will start the authentication of the user. Looking on the traffic, we can see that Keycloak receives a OpenID Connect request. It then sends a SAM request to ADFS, and ADFS asks the user for authentication. So let's input our test user. Next, we see here that ADFS issues a SAML response to Keycloak with some attributes, mainly the email address of the user. Keycloak then translates this response to a OpenID Connect response and sends it to the React application like this. And the React application then parses it and uh, displays the information to us. And here we can see our email address 
being sent back to the React application. And the React application can then create a user session based on this and use any information in here to, to uh, restrict access or view different things in the application. Here I'm just showing the end result, but a full guide and explanation of all configurations for uh, Keycloak and ADFS is described in my blog post in the links below, as well as the demo environment automation for setting up the entire environment and the Chrome extension that I used to display SAML traffic. Again. SAML can be a tough subject if you feel you need to dig in a bit more in the details and learn about best practices and design. Please have a look on my book. Links are below.